what bars there are to relief um, sort of very briefly. Um, but before that, I'd like to talk about the benefits of asylum. In addition to being able to remain in the United States, you also have a pathway to citizenship. That means that one year after being granted asylum, you're eligible to apply for a green card, and later after that, you're eligible to apply for citizenship. This means you're also in a, uh, in a position to petition for a spouse that you have that may be outside of the United States, or if you have children back home, they can also be derivative asylees through you. That means after you're granted asylum, you can help bring them here, and they don't have to go through the same process that you went through. In addition to that, probably the most immediate benefit is after you apply for asylum, 150 days after the USCIS receives your application, you're eligible to apply for work authorization, okay? So five months, five months is kind of a long time, but five months after you've applied for asylum, you can apply for work authorization. And approximately a month or so after that, you'll receive a work authorization card. Um, the unfortunate thing about um, processing asylum applications right now in New York and New Jersey is that you're likely going to be waiting about two and a half to three years after you submit your application for asylum to even get an interview, okay? Um, so that's a long time. But the upside is you will have been working during that time for almost two years or so, and you will have had an opportunity to work with your attorney very closely to build a strong case for your asylum interview. You'll be able to collect evidence, you'll be able to write a declaration and have the strongest case possible so that when you meet with that asylum officer and you have your interview in two and a half to three years, you can build a strong case for yourself and be able to advocate for why you should remain in the U.S. Я думаю, что большинство из вас знает, что они говорят о том, что люди не пидят того, что вы получаете асайл, а когда вы получаете через год вы подаете на грин-карту, через 4 года вы подаете на гражданство, и если у вас есть какие-то дети, супруги легальные, которые остались там, то вы их а, можете продавать на воссоединение с семьей, им не нужно проходить этот процесс, они получают автоматически непосредственно, а, что вы также имеете через 5 месяцев после подачи на кейс право подавать на work authorization, а, и, но она говорит, что месяц ждать на самом деле писать сейчас 3-4 месяца надо work authorization по практике. И плюс а, она говорит о том, что э, в тот момент, когда вы будете ждать интервью, почему проблема в том, что в Нью-Джерси и Нью-Йорк сейчас ожидание 2,5-3 года только, чтобы пойти на интервью. Но за это время вы можете подготовить очень э, сильный кейс с своим адвокатом, потому что очень часто не было времени за месяц подготовить качественный кейс. Это у вас будет э, время для того, чтобы собрать все необходимые кейсы. Okay, so those are the benefits to applying for asylum. Here are the bars or the things that will prevent you from being eligible for asylum, okay? The first one is the one-year filing deadline. It is expected that you apply for asylum within one year of arriving in the United States. Um, that's a difficult task for a lot of people because they don't know if they're eligible for asylum, they don't know how to get in contact with an attorney, and they don't know what the deadline is for filing. Um, so that's the purpose of us like giving sort of informationals like this is so that more people know about the avenues for relief um, and there are informed and able to find an attorney or do it on their own if they have to with the advice of a legal professional um, so that they can meet that one year filing deadline. Also, firm resettlement is a bar. That means that if you have gone to another country and sort of established yourself as a resident there, then that may be evidence to the U.S. government that you don't need to come here. You've already established resettlement in another country, okay? Um, I won't go through persecutor and terrorist. Basically, you shouldn't have persecuted others and you shouldn't be a terrorist also. 
Um, and then this um, last one that I'll explain is particularly serious crimes. There are certain crimes um, that you could have committed in the United States that would bar you from being eligible for asylum. And I can talk to individuals about that if you have any sort of criminal history, we can sort of discuss whether that would bar you from being an asylum applicant. На asylum, за тем, что если, например, вы уже получали резиденцию в какой-то другой стране, то, может быть, США не дойдут вам здесь в убежище, поскольку скажут, что в той стране, в принципе, не преследуют его ДВТ, и зачем вы просите у нас. Затем мы не должны быть, конечно же, то есть совершать преступления по отношению к другим, то есть причинять вред другому, террористами должны быть и а, совершать серьезные преступления на территории Соединенных Штатов. Если вы когда-то уже такое совершили, то Сион может с вами индивидуально поговорить об этом, или вы знаете, кто совершил какие-то преступления, как это преодолеть, что это может быть ограничительным, очень серьезным для получения основания. In addition to the things that bar you from being eligible for relief, there are other things that could happen after you've submitted your application for asylum and you're waiting for your interview that could change whether you want to proceed with your asylum case. So one thing is that you could get married. Um, so same-sex marriage is legal in the United States and you may find like a partner and you guys decide to pursue marriage. That is a quicker avenue for immigration relief than asylum. Like I told you, you're likely waiting three years for an interview and if you choose to go the marriage route instead, then that is an option that's available to you and you should consult your attorney to discuss your options and how to proceed. Um, in addition to that, you may be a victim of a crime in between the time that you apply for asylum in your interview. That means that you're eligible for what's called a U visa. Um, that's a form of relief that the U.S. government has created for immigrants who are victims of crimes in the United States. And so you may choose to pursue a U visa instead of asylum. So those are options that exist for you. Она говорит о том, что, конечно, есть другие категории, когда можно подавать на сцену. Например, если вы в брак решили вступить с кем-то, потому что секс однополые браки разрешены, то я welcome, это будет быстрее. И второе, если, например, когда вы подали application, заявление свое и до интервью с вами произошло какое-то, то есть с вами совершено было преступление здесь, и вы тогда вы можете подавать на ю-визу, так называемый, который вас защищает и дает дополнительный э, возможность получить статус быстрее, чем асайл. То есть если вы были жертвы преступления на территории Соединенных Штатов между вот этим промежутком подачи и ожиданием интервью particularly traveling back to your home country. So if you say that you're afraid to go back and then you go back, then that may disqualify you from being eligible for asylum because you couldn't be that afraid if you go back for a vacation. That's a problem, okay? Um, another thing can be marriage in some cases. So if, for example, you have um, an application for asylum pending based on your sexual orientation and you can't claim to be gay, but then you marry someone in the interim um, and it's a heterosexual marriage, then it's also an issue and something to think about um, before pursuing. So marriage is great and it's a very like sort of faster avenue for relief, but it could compromise your immigration case if it's against the facts that you Okay. Он говорит, нужно быть очень осторожным. Например, что может вам помешать получение убежища, если вы возвращаетесь в свою страну, а при этом вы говорите, что я убежал из страны, и вроде бы страшно возвращаться, а наконец вы едете в свою страну. И если вы, например, подавали свой асайлом на основании того, что вы гей или лесбиянка и тому подобное, и раз вы хотите замуж за гидросексуал.